Hey, this is John from Peach Guitars, and I'm here with Travis from from Sir. How are we doing, Travis? Hey guys. We're gonna do the uh, yeah, the old the old bit one of those handshake. as well. Bro, bro handshake. Real bro handshake. He, this guy looks younger every time I see him. Now he's got rid of that huge beard, which I'll never be able to grow. But there you go. Uh, anyway, Travis is going to um, talk us through some of the new stuff that's coming with Sir, and and we're going to look at the uh, the new uh, single cut model as well. So. Travis, over to you. All right, cool. Well, we, we've made a lot of uh, updates to our core line this year, so okay. you'll notice we're not referring to it as Pro Series anymore. It's now Core Line. What, and I then, guess, sorry to interrupt yeah, you please. already. It's, it's uh, I guess there was always that thing of people thinking a Pro Series was was a cheaper, but or right. like, not as good as a you know, custom guitar. What we're really trying to hit home is, you know, and you've been to the, to the factory, you know, to our facility where we make all these guitars. And there's no distinction. Every no, you guitar, wouldn't know, would you? Every yeah. guitar moves through the production process the same yeah. so there's core line or pro series guitars mixed in with customs yeah you know really They're the same so I mean the same level of care quality and the same materials go into all the guitars so that's kind of what we we're trying to trying to hit home is look it's not a modern pro. It's not a pro series. This is a modern. This is yeah. a modern guitar. Yeah. Now you. This well, is. they're this all is, the best specs, really, aren't they? Right. For what most people. Are, we yeah. we used we used sales data to say, well, this is how most people like them. Yeah. But you can still go and customize. Yeah. It. And you'll save a little money going this way because yeah. it's pre-configured. Still gig bags and stuff. Yeah. As well. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So new for the modern pro. I won't go over all the all the details, but the main updates here this year are that we've moved it over to a roasted maple neck. Lovely. Which I, I think people are really going to appreciate. Yeah, people love it. And then we've also added a push-pull uh, switch. And depending on the configuration, it does different things. So on okay. this one, I believe, this would uh, put the bridge Oh, the parallel. Andy Wood thing. Yeah. 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 And then split it up here or something, is it? Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, yep. cool. Yeah, sweet. Excellent. So and then we've got the ma maple neck version there. Yeah, yep, we've okay. got the, the maple, maple fingerboard yeah, version. Maple. This is a new model for this year. So this, the modern, what was formerly the modern Pro is now the modern Plus, and now we've got just the straight modern. Okay, and does this kind of bridge the price between a modern satin, or is it yeah. the same price? No, it, it's going to bridge the price. Okay. Yeah, I think actually that's incorrect. So that so it's pr that's basically that price, then that one, then yes, then, yeah, exactly. Okay, yep. sure, sure. And uh, so you, the main difference here is you've got the solid color, yep. still keeping with the scrape mining. Still maple top. As still well, maple, yeah. plain yeah. maple top underneath. Yeah. Um, a basswood body, pal ferro fingerboard. This is a maple neck. Okay. Hey, uh, HH as well. Or? Yeah, it's okay. uh, it's going to be available in uh, HH hey, yeah. and yeah. HSH. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, great. And in, in white as well. One of those yeah, white. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. sure. Okay, cool. Uh, and then I know uh, there's a few changes to modern satin. Yeah, it's just pickups, is it? So the modern satin, we actually a couple of changes. One is uh, we actually implemented this earlier in the year. We changed the neck wood from Okume to Kaya. Okay. So we, now we've got a like a, a, a true African mahogany neck. Still using a nice light piece of okume yeah. for the body. Still really light. Yeah, yeah still, still really light. light. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, and so uh, other than that, I, I believe the only thing that's really new for this year is the just the switching the electronics. Okay. We've added a push pull and uh, for for some variety of tones. Like on the HH, uh, it'll be for splitting the bridge, and then on the HSH, it'll split both. Yes. Yeah. And this just this caught my eye straight away. This guy. Yeah. So. Similar to the modern Pro, we for the for the standard, what used to be the standard Pro, now the standard Plus, is gonna have now the uh, the roasted maple neck there. And you've been doing it for a little while with an SSC as well, hasn't Correct, it? Correct. So yeah. It's got the size SSC. Of the, uh, the other thing, I believe we yeah we've we've updated the pickups. Yeah. These are now V60s yeah. rather okay. than the MLs. Yeah. yeah. I mean that's just like a perfect what would have been like custom order standard. Isn't yeah. It? Super just, Strat. Yeah. yeah. Wicked, yeah. And the same thing again. Same yeah. thing here, Rosewood. yeah. Is that staying with Rosewood or is that... Uh... That's Rosewood, yeah. Okay, cool. Sweet, excellent. And, and here okay. we go on the... Uh, now, this is a new model as well. So what what used to be called the S1 and the S2 back in the day... What you did, those uh, like reissue type... We did, yeah, kind of a throwback, yeah, throwback S1, yeah, S2. Right, yeah. Now this is, this is kind of... We've used that platform and just made it the standard. Yeah, there's been a lot of people asking for that model. Again, you know, I, I kind of thought, uh, you know, is it something that's that's needed? But customers are kind of yeah. asking about it. Yeah, yeah. So. I think people like the the smaller body shape. Usually comes with a thinner neck profile. You know, for yeah, that. Even see slim. Type yeah, even see slim. Yeah, yeah. Okay. that's right. Yeah, same. Oh yeah, and that's um, SSC as well. Yeah, SSC. Anything that's going to come with with single coils, you know, that you're going to hear by themselves. 
you'll you'll get the SSC. Okay. So where are we at with um, what what was the Classic Pro then? Is that just now a classic? Yeah, that's now that's called the Classic S. Oh, just uh, pick up your wire there. Don't anyone tripping over, especially not Travis. <laughs> He's an important guy. So this Loving that. this this is what was formerly known. The artist formerly known as Classic Pro. Yeah. Uh, we've updated it this year. We've changed all the pickups to V60 LPs. Changed the neck shape. So instead of the even C medium, now we've got the 60 C vintage standard. Little little slimmer at the at the nut, but tapers to actually a little bit larger at, okay. by the time you get up to the higher frets. A little bit more vintage kind of. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, we 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 just kind of had the even C medium on a lot of different models. Yeah. And, uh, after talking with John and kind of dreaming about what it would what it would look like, he really wanted to see some more you know vintage style necks yeah. uh, on some of these models. Yeah, I've, he's been. I really enjoyed um, listening to him on those uh, tone talk yeah. things, and um, really great to hear um, him being so open about you know some of the old guitars and stuff that he worked on right. and stuff. So it's cool to see some of the uh, you know the inspiration and a lot of the stuff that you learn, I guess, with those old guitars. Right. Through a little bit more to some of these. Yeah. And then same thing, so if we move over here to the Classic S Antique, which used to just be called the Classic yeah, Antique. New color as well. We've got a new color. We've, this actually, this color will actually be available in the Antique and also the S. So it's, oh, it's right. replaced Fiesta Red this year. So we've okay. we've taken Fiesta Red out, replaced it with Vintage Yellow. That would look good with a shell plate. Yeah, well, That'd yeah. Be really good. Uh, so updated the neck shape as well. So these uh, also will be getting the V63, okay. which is a new single coil for us. Uh, it's it's based on a 63 strat pickup. Same magnets. Same those, magnets. Uh, yeah, yeah. Those exactly. custom, well, they only go They're five in, custom. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, okay. and it's and it, oh, that's it's interesting. The, the custom part of it kept is very very quiet. Important. Kept that quiet. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, John John has a lot of pride in where we source our magnets from, and it's yeah, it's, I know. It's the the place. And is it and kind of tonally then? Where does it sit between like um, an ML pickup? And It'll sit right in between an ML and a V60 LP, let's say, or a V60. So it's a bit more, got a bit of muscle to it. A little more muscle, um, but nowhere near as high as high output as an ML. Okay. More, more in that you know V60 LP range. So, okay. Oh, that's cool. But they're they're beautiful, very very vintage correct sound. Yeah. I look forward to trying them out then. Yeah. And, and then that's a three, they do it as a regular three single. Yeah. Right. Well, exactly. Yeah. We happen okay. to have two humbucker versions, but you can also get it with three single. Yeah. Oh, that's the popular setup, I guess. And then uh, this one changed from the even C medium now to the 60 C vintage medium. So a little bit beefier neck on this one, 830 to 950. The neck feels a little bit more satin yeah. as well now. Yeah, it's well we've and we, we've always done them in nitro, but we we pride ourselves on the fact that our our nitro is not really sticky that way. No, no. We, we try to. There's some things that we do, you know, yeah. to try to make Stop sure that they don't that, get yeah. that. Way. Uh, okay. The only guy that's there's not really a whole lot of updates to the JM no. line this year. It's just called JM. Just now. the classic JM, not a JM Pro. But specs wise, it already had the 60C standard neck yeah. profile. Yeah, yeah that one's kept been a bit of um, a sleeper. It's kind of started off a bit slow, but it, you people know, don't people don't know about it. Yeah, yeah, but they're really starting to you know get into it now. Right. So we've got. And then uh, uh, with the LT, same thing with the classic T. Uh, cla what was the classic T Pro? Right. Yeah. So. So now this is just the classic T. Uh, also, again, you'll notice kind of a theme here, the classic T. So we've got the the 60C vintage standard. It should be this. I think this is a misprint, but this is the classic T, uh, the 60C vintage standard yeah. neck shape. And then the antique version will have the the medium. So nice. it's kind of this, yeah. it, it kind of mirrors the Did you classic. Have that, that pink three ply guard before, like that. The black. No, no, I don't know why that's on there. <laughs> what was it? Should be a, black. It should just be a single ply black. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, interesting. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So. And then, and then the alt T is. And the alt T really hasn't changed except for the neck shape. Um, but it, and then we've updated the the pickups are no, oh, no yeah. longer Thornbuckers. They're nickel covered, raw nickel covered SSVs. S in both positions. In both positions. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Cool. Yeah. And I know we've got. Um, so that's kind of. Uh, let's. Try, I think there might be. Oh, so we've got artist models on the other side there, oh, yeah, and then we've got the limited editions check on the other down. side here. Do it. So cool, and new finish for the Andy Wood. Yeah, that's right. So now the uh, the Andy Wood, we've introduced this. We call this whiskey barrel. Yeah, whiskey barrel finish. <laughs> it's a uh, it's the same same basic idea as his other uh, black and red finishes. It's a uh, charred and sandblasted ash body. It's cool. But in, in this case, we 
we didn't paint over it. We no. just kind of left it charred. Yeah. Oh, it looks great. Yeah. 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 And Andy's Andy's inspiration was a was a very specific barrel of Jack Daniels that he saw once. So that was kind of the the the, the vibe I like we were going the, uh, for. Hard, like the black hardware on it. As yeah. Well. So nice. and then we've got a a black anodized pick guard and control plate. Otherwise, it's very similar to his red one. Yeah. He's got his woodshed pickups, the relieved uh, three saddle bridge plate. Uh, it's got the 16 inch radius jumbo frets, you know, locking tuners, yeah. the whole nine yards, and the SSC, of course. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Three way. Look at that beauty. We've got a new uh, Ian Thornley model here. Is that on the um, trim version as well, or just? It'll just be this one. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we've done it with the, t the Tone Pros TP6. Yeah. And uh, basically, it's, it's identical to the other version, except for this one is done in this beautiful Antigua burst. So yeah. they've done the body, the pick guard. Pick guard is and then so cool. Done. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's a really, this one, and th this is a very, <laughs> as you can tell, a very labor intensive finish to, to get right. Yeah. yeah. But we've got some really great Yeah, it's quite a thin, thin, like kind of graduation there on the burst, right. isn't it? Yeah. Yep. You could get that wrong very easy. Yeah, it's, and it's all done by hand. Yeah, as yeah. You, as yeah. You know, just oh, the old school yeah. way. Yeah. So Ocean Turquoise. Yeah, Steve, we've got a new color. Turquoise. Steve will buy anything with Ocean Turquoise. Yeah, okay, well, cool. just we'll uh, down I'll for one. have your checkbook ready. I'll, I'll come see you a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. It might be too difficult. Ocean Turquoise, Pete Thorn. This is uh, the version with the th Thornbucker Plus and the Thornbucker in the neck. And he went with the black back and neck on this. See if we can twist it around. Yeah, nice. It's pretty oh, sharp yeah, looking. Yeah. Finish on there as well, yeah. Yeah, that's great. It's like... Um, that's a real good, almost got like a sparkle fleck in there as well, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a, it's a, on there, James or not, but it's, it's not a super a, fine. Uh, it's it's got a metallic. good coarseness to yeah. it. Yeah, metallic. Beautiful. That's all cool. And then Scott, Scott is Scott is a funny, funny one. He yeah. he, all he wanted He's was changed a, his mind. Was Olympic Oops, white. So, yeah. All he wanted was Olympic white. So it's an identical guitar, just done in Olympic white with the tortoise guard. Yeah. We'll still offer it in sea foam and the Fiesta orange. Cool. And then, uh, recognize big, these big, two. Big exciting news for this year. We've got a Mateus Asato signature model coming out. Yeah. Here it is. So this is the Shell Pink guitar. This is an exact replica of the one that you see him playing in all of his Instagram videos with 27 billion views. Yeah. Um, this is essentially a, a modified version of an old version of a classic antique that we used to make. Oh uh, yeah, with the roasted neck right. in it, yeah. Back when we used to make the classic yeah, antique yeah. with the uh, with the roasted neck, uh, yeah. and then he swapped out the, the pickup. He wanted a, uh, a more of a, a nickel covered look, and we've we've wound a kind of a custom Malnico 4 pickup. For All him. right. Wait, that's quite smooth sounding. It is, it's yeah. beautiful. It's really nice. And But the raw, you know, with the raw nickel, it doesn't knock off too much top end because, you know, that raw nickel really tends to keep it nice and open sounding. And then we've also done up a, uh, a black version for him with gold hardware. He loves this look. He was really kind of passionate about, you know, the, the black with the gold hardware and that bird's eye kind of a yeah, richer, looks, more yeah. luxurious kind of a look. And uh, the specs are, are fairly similar there. Uh, the only difference is being the, the gold cover there for the, for the pickup. Yeah. The fingerboard is obviously 3A bird's eye as opposed to Indian rosewood. And we've got, we've got gold hardware and everything. Yeah. yeah, that one, I think that will be a good seller, that one. I think it'll be a, the pink one. A, yeah, a lot yeah. of people wait, wait to. We've had, because we've had customers asking oh, yeah. for similar kind of spec already. So. Yeah, he's going to become the, the, the king of the millennials. Quiz. The world has changed, like, it's the, that's so much, has it, the music it is. business, you know, that you can make a career of, you know, playing in your bedroom or, yeah. or, or, or whatever it is, and I'm not putting that down at all or anything. No, I mean, just, he, he, it's just amazing how it's all changed, you know. Like, I think a lot of people know who he is, and, and, you know, he backs it up with the fact that he goes on tour with Tori yeah, Kelly and course, Jesse yeah. J, but, people you know, know him people know him of, because of that, yeah. because yeah. he did a cover of Don't Dream It's Over, and it got, like, Went viral. Oh, no, he's an incredible yeah. guy and is just the sweetest, yeah. sweetest human. You know, he really helps, is. It helps when um, people like John Mayer and stuff are giving him the big thumbs yeah. up and stuff, do not it? So, yeah. very, very cool. Right, well, um, should we go to some of these customers? Yeah, let's go check out them? some of the uh, limited edition. Okay, cool. So, lim each one is going to be limited to maximum 200 pieces worldwide, which means, you know, probably the, the most of any of these would be 50 in, in Europe. Or, okay, you know, in yeah. Okay. So all roasted. Yeah, so this is a classic S antique roasted. So the main difference here is, you know, we've gone with the 60C vintage medium deck, just like the new the new uh, Coraline version. But yeah, the body is roasted alder and the 
roofing and the uh, the neck is roasted maple. And they're normal V60 LPs, not their normal 60 V60 degrees. LP. Yeah, okay. And these are just their different colors, yeah. Right. That looks smoking hot. No. Isn't that nice, that burgundy yeah. mist? And then they, they, the other difference would be the humbuckers come, the SS, they all come with a humbucker in the bridge. We're not offering it in SSS, just in HSS. Yeah. And it comes with a raw nickel covered SSV. Beautiful, yeah, that's cool. Loving that. And then the next one over here is the Modern Pro Curly. So we're, you, we've got a we've got kind of a really nice stash of cur what we what we consider curly maple. It doesn't neatly fit into straight flame or really obvious quilts. So we decided, you know, it's such a beautiful wood. It was a shame we weren't really doing much with it. We decided we would do a nice run of modern pros with this with yeah, this wood oh, on yeah. the top and offer it some some interesting and unique finishes yeah, as well I'll, as yeah, I love know, all given, that. I love all this stuff. Isn't that nice, yeah, the yeah. gradient finishes. It's on there. And that's like a fire burst yeah, as so well. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Bengal burst, desert gradient, aqua blue gradient, fire burst. So yeah, the four colors you see here. Nice. And this is something I've not seen you yeah, guys do that often. The classic T Deluxe. Yeah. So kind of based, not really, I mean, I guess it's not really even based on a classic T Pro, but it kind of based from that platform, we figured, okay, let's just make a real deluxe version of a T. Yeah. You know, it's something we haven't really done a whole lot of. It's something that we've had some requests for, and so yeah, so we. It's a good price point as well. I mean, it is. It's saying it's uh, three four one five US, so I'm guessing it will be just over three thousand pound ish, that sort of level, which. It's still, still yeah. compared to yeah. what you would pay to build this as a custom instrument, Absolutely, yeah. you're going to save. Five thousand dollars, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'd, be, it'd, it'd be quite a bit more expensive. So yeah. we've got gold nice hardware. Colors. Yeah. We've got the flame maple top on a, uh, on, a on an ash body, and then we've got the three A bird's eye neck and uh, fingerboard. Okay. Stainless steel frets, SSC, uh, and then these are the four finishes. So we've got an H cherry, aqua blue, uh, trans charcoal, and a bangle. Okay. And then obviously I can't help but notice it's the uh, the twentieth anniversary, so that leads us on to the uh, the next big thing. The next every, big thing, yeah. Big. Most people don't know that this is the type of guitar that I grew up playing. Yeah. And so I've always had a passion for making one that eliminated all my little complaints. Um, so we've got a deeper contour on the body, so you've got better access to the high frets. Oh yeah, very you nice. Know? You got a tummy contour because yeah. as you get older, you need one. I know the feeling. Um, straighter string pull, which eliminates the binding of the G string oh, sure. and things like that. You got a pretty authentic neck angle, so the two pneumatic is not too high off the body. Sure. I like to keep it down yeah, low. Yeah, yeah. This is actually a carve from a 59 burst, is from it? a real one, which I digitized. Yeah. I also reversed the control layout because... That's the bridge one. This is the bridge yeah, volume, yeah. this is a bridge tone, neck volume, neck tone. That's the one that people Yeah, I'm always yeah. going for that, and I don't want to reach around for it. We got Thornbucker oh, yeah. Plus. Okay, yeah. Just because I want a little more. Yeah. And then we've got the standard Thornbucker neck. And then the frets are over the binding. Yeah. So I get rid of the nibs, and yeah. that gives you a wider spacing. Uh, these all have a 880.88 inches to 0.985. Yeah. So nice. it's a nice chunky. Just it reminds me of the um, like that slightly thicker 60 profile that they did, like the V2. Yeah. It's not not as thick as a 59, but it's it's thicker than a 60. And the body cuts back in a little bit and. This is a vintage gold. And what, what type of finish is it on there? Uh, this is a very thin urethane. Yeah. It behaves a lot like lacquer. Uh, oh, I, I get nervous when people touch it because it scratches like lacquer, yeah. but it's, it'll age like lacquer. So we've also got a, um, and the, this is a wood veneer on the headstock. So it's not just painted and it's not fiber. I love the, um, the, the, the logo as well. Yeah, these Great. are prototypes, so that's not, this is the, 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 the logo, but the final version is going to be a raised metal. All right. You know, so it'll be a little shinier. <coughs> and you're doing like these basic kind of, uh, these sort of tight finishes, nice burst finishes and a, and a gold top to start with. This is my favorite. Yeah, tea burst. Yeah. The vintage gold, cherry burst, and a caramel burst. This one is seven and a half pounds. Is it? That's the is other. Not, um, you're not chambering them or anything no like that. Chambering. No chambering. 
yeah, that's really light. Lovely kind of uh, yes. feathered they're kind all, of angel. They're all under eight and a half pounds. Yeah, which is you're never going to get that from any any other makers that, and they're not chambered, you know, so no way. Yeah, yeah. And, and for the first hundred, I'm doing all the fret work. I'm leveling the fingerboards, yeah. I'm installing the frets, I'm leveling the frets. Yeah. I built all of these uh, along with my shop manager, uh, my production manager, Mike Potts. Oh, yeah. So, but He's I'm doing all the fret work and Mike is. I'm so pleased to see, else. you know, um, I've, there's no need to trace up the past and all that kind of stuff, but so pleased to see like you doing like the hands on work and, you know, uh, People always say, oh, you're John Sir guitars, you know, have you got any John Sir guitars? So it's great to see, you know, that you're back in there with it and kind of oh, yeah, good I'm, hands on I'm in the shop more than ever. Yeah, well, I really enjoyed listening to the um, the podcast, the tone the tone talk things. It took me about two weeks to listen to them, though, because it's four hours each one, wasn't it? And like driving into work, you know, I'd listen to it each day and got a lot of cool stuff out of it. And obviously, that's when I really, re you know, heard about your uh, love for the you know, especially yeah. Les Paul Juniors and things like that. Oh yeah, I, I probably owned, I used to own an old gold, old gold top. I, I actually built my first Les Paul in 1985. Yeah, oh, so many great stories that you yeah. that you told, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, no, we'll be really, we've had a lot of interest in the guitars already. We've got customers that have been emailing saying, I want to buy one, so perfect. Well done, another hit, John, well done. So uh, yeah, no, I'm pleased to see it. And, and this is your wife's name. That's correct? my wife. Perfect. You like to keep it in the family. All uh, the names. You know, it goes a long way. You know, it was. We've been together almost 20 years. Yeah. So uh, it's good to do it. And 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 you obviously your son is a lot more involved in the uh, in the company as well, designing yes. a lot of a lot of stuff as well. And um, it, uh, we've done really really well with with a lot of the stuff that he's designed. So he's uh, obviously learned from the master. So um, we pretty much have we have we done it done it all. That's it. We're all good. Well, thanks for your time, John. I really yeah. appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Travis. Well done. Thank you. Perfect. Cool.